The Bank of Korea is set to make its monthly decision on target interest rate next Thursday. And all of a sudden, early this morning, we hear words that the presidential office of Cheong Wade, or an official there, first expressing hopes for a rate cut and then denying the possibility of undermining the independence of the central bank. So, uh, what is going on? Let's bring in Dr. Kim Byung Ju, head of KLMP Consulting and a longtime commentator here on our newscast. Hello, Dr. Kim. Good afternoon. So, what is going on? What is going on? Interesting things are going on. Uh, yesterday was actually the uh, chief economic advisor to the president right after there was a presentation by the Ministry of Finance to the president he uh, met with the reporters and had chat and uh, at the end of his uh, conversation he mentioned that he, uh, what this country needs at this moment is a lower interest rate and the, the reporters asked does that mean that Bank of Korea this time in uh, you know perhaps next week they should cut the rate and he said of course the lower rate uh, would be helpful there Okay, those words came out, and uh, during the whole day yesterday, there were a lot of speculations. Is this a pressure coming from presidential office to central bank? Because traditionally, in terms of Korea's norm, that's not supposed to happen. Uh, of course, there are always uh, there have been cooperation between the government and the central bank, but there was always under the cover, but not in this kind of open manner. So. Uh, presidential office might have gotten a little bit nervous and they came out with the press release later on in the end of the day yesterday saying that there's no pressure coming from presidential office on central bank's independence. But the talks are still continuing because this is not only isolated case of chief economic advisor talking about the need for lower rate, but also it's coming after the deputy prime minister whose face you're looking at right at, uh, at this moment on the screen. Now he said similar thing before. And uh, after that, Yi Han Gu, the floor leader of the uh, ruling party, he's uh, showing his face right there. Uh, he has also mentioned the need for lower rate. And this is all coming as a part of this strong government drive for seeking a uh, supplementary budget to deal with the prospect for a lower growth. So all these words are coming, and in the middle of that, now the critics are wondering, okay, are they now all together as a team pressuring the central bank to uh, come alone and cooperate with the government's uh, major initiative. So it's kind of a little scandal there. Right, and the, uh, I believe the argument that was coming from them is that uh, with the supplementary budget when it's released, it will, I guess, it will um, increase the interest rate. Mm -hmm. Therefore, um, right. you know, in order to counter that, right. uh, they should, uh, or it, it would be good to see the mm -hmm. interest rate lowered. Right, exactly. Now, of course, um, the rate cut this time will, won't make uh, the BOK look good. Uh -huh. uh, for one thing, we know that uh, the Bank of Korea has not fully shared the economic direction or outlook the government has presented. Right. Not at all. Uh, last month, you know, uh, their uh, record of this central, uh, the what we call here in Korea, Finance Monetary Committee, that actually officially decides on rates. Uh, they had a meeting uh, last month, and every uh, month they have this announcement about what they're going to do with the interest rate. And last month, uh, after their announcement of freezing the rate once again, uh, you know, later on the, the record of this meeting was released, and there the majority view was that the economy is just going along just fine. You know, uh, it's kind of slow. The recovery track is itself is slow, but it's not doing anything bad, unlike what government was saying. You know, uh, recently, last week and uh, early this week, saying, you know, the government, this new government, has said the economy is in trouble. We have to act really boldly and and bravely, and that's the reason why I need this supplemented budget. But that view is completely. I wouldn't say completely, but considerably on the opposite side to what Bank of Korea was saying just the last month. So there is a big gulf between how the government is seeing the economy itself and on one hand on how the central bank itself is seeing the economy. So there is a uh, considerable divide there and that's something that needs to be worked out. And that's something that a lot of the critics and the observers are saying maybe government is trying to override the central bank about. Right, so potentially we could see the possibility of, you know, of course, the critics accusing the government mm -hmm. of forcing the central bank to, I guess, move into a politically motivated direction in terms of their uh, m monetary policy. Right, indeed. You know, right after the government released its new forecast for 2.3 percent growth this year, there were a lot of talks, you know, like even including the opposition party saying, well, should we take the uh, government forecast at its face value? Isn't it too pessimistic? Aren't they just talking about these numbers uh, to create the uh, worst case scenario? Uh, there are a lot of talks. And now looking at this, uh, you know, discussion between perhaps discussion, I said, well, exchange or difference in views between central bank and government, the critics 
conviction seems to be growing that perhaps government is doing this kind of as a overdrive rather than something uh, that's kind of more rational or evenly uh, based. So I think you know this is a case that we will have to just continue to watch in terms of how it unfolds. Right, and, and onlookers or critics have also um, made note of uh, the BOK governor not being there when the government <laughs> announced its uh, economic policy direction last Thursday. He was right. on a foreign trip. Right, exactly. Now, what do we make out of that? Yeah, that's an interesting case. Of course, central um, you know bank governor is not does not have to be at this um, you know like meeting or uh, occasion where government releases its future policy direction but being out of the country itself some of the uh, those people who love scandals and speculations in the media they were saying what's happening uh, why is central government governor leaving the country attending this interesting meeting of the fourth financial stability boards a meeting and then for Asian regional economies in Kuala Lumpur and some people are saying is it because the central governor bank governor is not in agreement with the government big announcement uh, is that it there are a lot of speculations there and uh, we'll have to well, I don't think we will have a firm conclusion on that but however note, note this that before his departure there are a lot of talks in the media saying whether the governor will actually have to step down because he's not the one who was appointed by the new president but right. rather appointed by the previous president and there has been uh, public knowledge here that the uh, central government uh, central bank governor himself is a uh, very close associate with the president previous president Yimian Bang and was uh, listening to him too much in a way in a way of undermining a central bank uh, in the, uh, independence. So they were saying whether he will he step down. Interesting thing is we never had a precedence here in Korea before when government changes its hand the central bank governor steps down before the expiration is term and his end of his term right now for Kim Jong-soo is April next year so he has uh, one more year to go and a lot of people are saying well but still you know he, does, he hasn't built up great reputation in the market he didn't really earn the market's respect mm -hmm. and uh, some of the critics are saying uh, he didn't really earn the respect of the new president Park Geun-hye herself uh, there are reports that Park Geun-hye complaining about the, the overall management style of uh, central bank governor's performance it, itself and all that so there are a lot of talks about whether this uh, you know his term may not be fulfilled but then again if that happens as I said because we didn't have a precedence it could actually be viewed as a major signal that central banks independence could be compromised all right well we'll have to wait and see how that works out the relationship between the current government and the Bank of Korea mm -hmm. and whether um, the relationship between the Bank of Go Korea governor Kim Jong Soo and President Park Geun-hye works out as well right exactly I mean because you know if there's a new governor appointed before the end of his term it could be viewed as something for a uh, signal for something, uh, some kind of big turnaround here in this country. Mm -hmm. All right, Dr. Kim Byung-ju, thank you so much for today. Um, we'll talk to you tomorrow with more. Okay.